Determine your surveillance needs, decide on the areas you want to monitor and the number of cameras required to cover those areas. Choose the right equipment, select the CCTV system that meets your requirements, including the number of cameras, DVR slash NVR, digital video recorder slash network video recorder, cables, and power supply. Plan camera placement, determine the optimal locations to install cameras for maximum coverage and visibility. Consider factors such as lighting conditions and possible obstructions. Install the cameras, use a drill, screws, and mounting brackets to securely fix the cameras to the desired locations ensure they are properly angled and positioned for the desired view. Set up the DVR slash NVR, connect the DVR slash NVR to a monitor or TV using an HDMI slash VGA cable. Insert the hard drive, if included, into the DVR slash NVR for recording and storage. Connect the DVR slash NVR to the router for remote access if needed. Connect the cameras to the DVR slash NVR, run the appropriate CCTV cables, usually RG59 coax or CAT5 slash 6 Ethernet cables, from each camera to the DVR slash NVR. Ensure the connections are secure. Power the cameras, connect each camera to the power supply using the provided power adapters or a centralized power distribution box, if applicable. Configure the CCTV system, access the DVR slash NVR settings using the provided software or web interface. Set up important settings such as date slash time, resolution, motion detection, and recording parameters. Test system, check each camera's view on the monitor slash TV to ensure the desired coverage and quality. Test the recording and playback functions to verify that everything is working correctly. Complete the installation. Conceal the cables using conduits or cable covers, if desired. Ensure that all connections are secure and protected from tampering or weather conditions. Remember, this is a general guide, and the actual installation process may vary depending on the specific CCTV system you have purchased. It's always recommended to refer to the manufacturer's installation manual and follow any specific instructions they provide.